guys. <laughs> Coming. Hey, uh, <laughs> okay, honey. Uh, I'm good. You okay. Yes, baby. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> A get together surprise. Congratulations to the greatest man of this world, my brother from another mother, my ace, my playmate, and uh, <laughs> the best man that loves me unconditionally. And doing everything possible to make sure that I'm happy and a proud wife. Wow. <laughs> I'm humbled. Yeah. All right. Let's toast to the greatest lawyer in this world. The man who refused to teach me nothing <laughs> but the <to> law. <laughs> I didn't see this coming sure. though. I didn't see this coming. <laughs> it's a surprise. Right. Okay, right. there we go. Two more success to come, bro. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, guys, I'm completely blown away. I least expected to see everyone here. Um, I must say thank you for coming to celebrate with me. Natasha, thank you so much. Natasha is my private prosecutor and investigator. And uh, she's quite brilliant, very smart individual. Uh, thank you for what you do for me. Um, and thank you for coming to celebrate with me. I really do appreciate it. And Basil, you've been my friend. You've been my brother, my partner. Um, You've been such a great guy to me. I must appreciate your friendship. Thank you for your encouragement and uh, thank you for making me a better person. He's a good guy and above all, and my partner in progress. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, bro. You're welcome. I really want to say I appreciate everything. And most importantly, um, this is a very special moment for me. My wife, Lois, Edwards, Mokedi, I love you so much. And uh, I'll keep loving you until I die. She's been my world. She's been my best friend. She's been my backbone. She's everything a man needs in a woman. Thank you for everything you do for me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for encouraging me. Thank you for supporting me. And uh, I'm excited to share this moment with you. I love you. Hey guys, it's been two years. I've been working on this case for two years. Can you beat that? <laughs> Two years too stressful. <laughs> yes, and now we're here. We're, we're doing this now. We won the case, and so let's celebrate. Mm. Oh, sure. To success. To yes, success. To success. Right. Woo! <laughs> I am proud of you, Avalon. Thank you. Yes, your your closing argument was masterful. The jury almost gave you a standing ovation. Oh yeah. <laughs> well done, man. Thank you very we much. did it. Let's celebrate. Hey, go, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, hello, Dad. You called. So, Natasha. Okay, probably. Yes. Hey, babe, who was that? Um, it was Daddy. Everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. He asked so? to see me, so. You're going now? Yeah. You coming back? Of course. Come on, I'll be back soon. You'll be fast about it. I know. Because I miss you. Mm. <laughs> I miss you more. 
Um, Natasha, Basil, right. please make yourselves comfortable, okay? Great. Right. Baby I'll will you. help you with that. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Mm, I'll take care okay. of them. Sorry. Right. <laughs> um, Natasha, um, please make yourself comfortable. Okay. Uh, I'll take care of you. Anything you want. Hey, boy. Mm. You're not a stranger, <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm not a stranger. I'll be. I'll be right back. Just give me a second, okay? No problem. Okay. Yeah. Woo. Yes. Very affirmative. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, I can't help but commend your efforts, bro. You see, the suspect was a drug dealer. He's been involved with insurrection, arson, and murder. So getting 25 years minimum from the law is a just measure. Hmm, you're right. Ah, uh, you see, um, I can say our city will have a little rest from crime stories surrounding him. Obviously. He was a vicious fellow, you mm -hmm. know. Yep. Your phone has been buzzing in the sitting room. I guess the caller is not giving up anytime soon. Oh, thank you. I'll just take it. Hello? Vicentia. Hi, Vin. Been a while. How are you? The truth remains that I never liked that man called Avalon. That is my husband we're talking about here. Oh, yes, I know. I allowed him to marry you because he got you pregnant. Watching you terminate the pregnancy would ruin my reputation and that was why I approved the marriage. <laughs> Dad, Avalon is a hard-working man. He's one of the best lawyers our school has ever produced. He has got prospects. And very soon, I believe his dreams will come to light and we'll all celebrate. Oh, shut your mouth, Lois, and stop being ludicrous. Avalon Woke, the prosecuted and jailed Mark Smith Otumba, one of my richest friends, who has been helpful to me financially and otherwise. Do you know the magnanimity of his action? Do you know? He has ruined the relationship I built over the years. And his submission made the Chief Justice rule against Otumba. Oh, I beg your pardon, Father. You were part of the jury that examined the submission of the prosecution and defense counsel. Why did you bring up such violent evidence that put my friend behind bars? Why? Tell me that. Father, you have always said that there is no best lawyer in a worst case. Let me tell you, Lois, I will definitely deal with Avalon. So you better start now to prepare a divorce suit against him. I love my husband, father, and I will not divorce him. Very well then, suit yourself. Suit yourself, Lois, but I tell you this. The wild wind of my vengeance is coming and it will sweep him and his family off their feet into the ocean. Excuse me? And by this comment you mean? Read my lips. I mean that I will not care that I am your father when I want to deal with Avalon and you will join him. I mean every bit of the words I have spoken. So do not say I did not warn you. Whoa, that was a long call, bro. Who was that? Yeah, an old friend. It's a couple of old friends. They are, you know, organizing a reunion party mm. and they want me in attendance. Mm. Yeah, and the convener is, guess who? Who? Vicentia Okunzuwa. Vicentia. Vicentia, yeah. Vicentia, Vicentia. That name rings a bell. Oh my goodness, Vicentia Okozua. Yeah. Your university girlfriend who vanished into thin air after graduation, right? Oh, same girl that made you go to law school with a broken heart. <laughs> oh, damn. You're not serious. Basil, you see, you have a, you have a sharp brain. 
a retentive one at that. <laughs> Makes me wonder why you're not a practicing lawyer. Oh, bro? Yeah. Uh, on the more serious note, I was wondering, mm -hmm. why would you want to dine with the devil again? I mean, you didn't hear from the heartbreak till you met Lois, your heart trouble. She's just an old friend, bro. She's just an old friend. Besides, she's married now. Oh, she's married? Yeah. Well, oh, that's cool. <laughs> bro, Vicentia really dealt with you. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> dealt, you said, bro. It's in the past. It's past tense. Look at me. I'm good now. I'm a lawyer. I'm called to bar. I defend people in court. I'm married to the most beautiful woman on earth. Lois Edwards Mukedi. I met her through you. Bro, I'm indebted to you, man. Come on, bro. There's nothing to worry about. It's just a harmless reunion party. And there's no way possible I'll go there without my wife. Good. I'm oh, sorry, let me take this call. Okay. Hello? Hey, hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, sure. You know about the same shop. We used to be in the same school together. Sorry, I overheard your conversation with Basil. We were not in the same department. She was studying history and international relations. And I was studying... Criminal law. Hmm. A different faculty too. <laughs> a woman as beautiful as Vicentia cannot invite you to a party just for a reunion. What the hell are you talking about? She must have heard about your success story in the news and set up a party, calling it a reunion or whatever. I don't know. I guess you omitted the part where I said I'll be going there with my wife and Vicentia will be coming with her husband. You are a lawyer and I am a private investigator. I am telling you now to be very careful. Be careful! Yes. Be careful. Be careful so you don't end up like me. You all know how I got broke after a damn divorce. I lost my car, my home, my life savings, everything. But still, no one is trying to end up like you. A young man who lives in a mini apartment with a future. I'm a very careful person, you know. Oh well. Very well then. I'll keep your comfort on the itinerary of no mistake. So baby, when you see your dad, what was the urgent call about? He sends a shiftload of congratulations and he's acknowledged that you made him more proud when the verdict was announced in your favor by the chief judge. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm humbled. So, mm -hmm. since I did not make anything for my husband, right. I got some food from daddy's place. And guess what? What? They made your favorite fried rice and chicken. Really? Mm-hmm. Guess what? What? You're also my favorite. Okay. Mm -hmm. Baby. What? <laughs> Please stop, stop. Our son could walk in any minute. No, it's okay. My boy is fine. I'm kissing his mommy. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't you eat before you eat? Hey. I'd rather eat before I eat. <laughs> Come here. Baby, stop. What? I just want to eat. Okay. Oh. Oh. Listen, I am grateful to God that I have you in my life. Do you know what? Mm -hmm. yeah. 
that this is our house. Everywhere is a room in this house. <laughs> Everywhere is a room in my father's house. Are you serious? If I can remember correctly, this house was bought in my father's name. And as a street disciplinarian that he is, my father would like modesty and orderliness in his house, not this. How about you mind your business and call before coming to this house? That's modesty, you know? Can I call you when coming to my father's house? Yes. Who am I going to call? A half man like you? Imelda, that is harsh. Can you shut up? I'm not done talking and don't interrupt me. A half man like you? Excuse me, I should call you before I'll come see my sister in my father's house. Okay? Imelda, that was harsh. Oh, really? That was harsh. And you need to shush it right now. Shush what? You need to shush, shush it right now. Come back, I need to Baby. tell you the truth. Imelda, shush I it. This is my husband's house. Excuse me, I am your sister. I need to tell this man the truth. If he hey. is good as he claims, he should come back, let him be a man. Why are you living on, under my father's roof? I don't get it. And you're telling me to shush it? And he said I should call him, call Moke, he call Avalo Moke for what? In my father's house, not even your house. I don't get it. Like, you be... oh my goodness, I need to call my dad. There's no modesty in this house. There's no decency in this house. Nothing at all. What's all this? What's all this? Oh, Moke is eating chicken. Chicken. Really? Huh. Okay. Okay. You're too comfortable. You're too comfortable in my father's house. I know what to do. I am so sorry, please. Please, I'm sorry. I know my sister can be really annoying sometimes. But please, I'm begging you, don't take it to heart. Please. But she's stating the obvious. I mean, I can't afford shelter for my family. How does that make me a man? But baby, it's just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. Today is your day, so you don't need anyone to make you feel bad. Don't allow anyone spoil your day for you. Mr. Assistant District Attorney, <laughs> baby. Listen, you know you always have a way to cheer me up and inspire me. I love you so much and I'll always make you proud. And I love you too. What's it? I got the job, baby. I got the job. What job? Baby, <clears throat> I actually booked a catering job with one of the new firms in town. And they just sent an email to me. Look. Oh, really? Yes. Well, that's good news. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's good. Oh, wow. I mean, everything is happening so fast. That's good news. So tell me about this job. Oh. I see someone is back. So now your appetite is back. Why don't we go downstairs? And I tell you why we eat. Okay, anything for you. Let's mm. mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> go. Oh, beautiful. So about the job, babe, how did you get it? Stop marking territories and please let her be. Let her live her life. What's your problem? Melda, stop. Stop what? I should stop what? Can't you see it? Can't you see what he's doing? When he feels insecure, he will get you pregnant and make you stay at home, restricting you from making your moves. That is what all men do. Honey is a... Um... It's a luncheon for the people in the art gallery. They saw my food blog and read my bio, that's it. What? That's good news. 
sis. Really? Yes. Oh, so tell me, will you love to have a test taster? Oh, yes. I would love more than that. And if you want to make more money, you would help me prep and serve. Um, of course, I would like to make money. <laughs> Count me in, sis. <laughs> you see, I'm really, really excited. Oh. I'm so excited that I get to do this my catering job once again after a long time of being a nursing mother. You know, <laughs> I'm happy for you. Babe, I yeah. totally agree with you. You have worked very hard and it is time for you to shine because your hard work is paying off. I... I believe this new job would, you know, bring other opportunities, yeah. Amen. Um, baby, there's one more thing. Mm -hmm. The luncheon is this Saturday and I hope you won't be mad. Are you serious? You hope he won't be mad? Mad for what? Is he a joy killer? Why would he be mad? After so many years of staying at home and now you got a job and you hope he won't be mad. He can get mad for all I care, but you see that job, you're going to get it and you're going to do it. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about all of this. I'm also sorry that I won't be able to make it to your reunion. I would have really loved to see you win the Alumni Year Award. But the client said, if I do this catering job and do it so well, you know, I, I might just end up handling other events for her. That's yeah, okay, babe. Eat your food. Eat your food. Eat. Hmm? Eat. Obviously, father, he's such a braggadocious person. I wonder what came over you when you allowed him marry my sister. That is part of my problems that I want to correct. Dad, how do you intend to do that? Now that he's working stronger, he's even working with Adesoya, your enemy. I know that everything I did I have done for the sake of my dear daughter. But now that he has joined the Adesoyas to persecute my friend, Max Smith or Tumba, he has joined forces with the enemies to bite the very hand that fed him. And I'm going to deal with him squarely. Daddy Wade Pamper. My sexy wife who's getting pampered. Mm. 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 Uh -huh. So my father actually has his eyes on running for the House of Representative. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh that's great. And guess what? What? He wants my smart, my handsome, my beautiful husband mm -hmm. to be his legal advisor oh really yes and now you know this is huge baby this comes with lots and lots of rewards be it a house a big mansion a car a trip away from here my respectably honorably father would do anything and everything for you and for me your lordship. Lois, kindly you do me a favor. Tell your father I said thanks. But I honestly don't need anything from him. Yeah. 
as a good son-in-law, I'd rather appreciate everything he's done for us than ask for more. Baby. Yeah? Are you trying to say that you do not want a big mansion? Like a beautiful mansion? Lois, listen, I never said that, okay? Of course, I... I love beautiful mansions. I want a new house. But sometimes, a man has got to have his own house. And at this point, I can't keep relying on your father's wealth. All right, I have to make my own money. Besides, Imelda sees me, she thinks I'm a parasite. My own husband. My life. My king. My brilliant, sweet lawyer. A parasite. Baby, you and I know that's not true. Melda is not a problem here. Let me help you. You're stressed. Let me keep, do this for you. Baby. Come on. What do you mean Lois will not be going with you? Um, she booked a last minute appointment with some art gallery. I think it has everything to do with her catering job. Ah. Yeah. You mean your wife won't be going with you to a reunion party where your ex will be? <sighs> Who does that, bro? Basil, there's nothing to worry about. Listen, I'm going to go there, catch up with Vin, have a couple of drinks and we both go back to our scheduled lives. Really? Yeah. Uh, if you say so. Ah, that reminds me. Yeah. Like you rightly said, mm -hmm. our husband will be there, right? Uh, so that will help you stay out of trouble and mm -hmm. nostalgia. No. She texted me and said her husband won't be coming, so yeah. Avlon, are you being serious? What? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> what do you mean, bro? You're asking me what I mean. What do I mean? <laughs> anyway, let me remind you that by the time Lois throws you out of her father's property, there will be no room available for you in my <laughs> crib. Bro, come on, don't be funny. <laughs> I promise to be careful, bro. Okay, you be careful. Let's head up. <laughs> I promise to be careful, man. Oh, man. So, um... God, you haven't changed. Such a long time. I'm excited to see you again. Me too. <laughs> you see, in high school, you were so beautiful. You dressed seductively. <laughs> <to kill. laughs> 
<laughs> oh, come on. I'm happy to see you in flesh and not just on social media. You look good yourself. Thanks for the compliments. I mean, you look more charming than high school. Let's get more drink and toast to a word of the alumni of the year. Waiter! Waiter! Bo, it's uh, it's pretty much amazing to see you again after all these years. Where the hell did you go? Well, I traveled overseas. Oh. Taking photograph assignments here and there, touring the globe. While you are here paving way for yourself in the political world, just as you said you would. <laughs> well, that's true. And look at you, I mean, I suppose you have seen the world just as you said you would. Yeah, because I, I, I thought you uh, vanished. You never texted, you never called. You just ghosted. That was your fault. It was your fault. Because you refused traveling with me. Vicentia, I couldn't have traveled with you. I mean, I gained admission to, you know, into law school. So I had to go to law school. Uh, you know, you are not as free-spirited as I am. I do what my air sign do. Being a Gemini, I just follow my mind. And when I see fire, I blow at it. Because fire needs air to keep burning. And probably some water to, to quench burning. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Doing? How are you? Uh, I'm fine, as you can see. And you? You good? I'm doing great. Oh, that's good. Ah, I can see you're enjoying yourself. Doing what you love and know how to do best. <laughs> yes. You did not go to the alumni get together with them. Uh, no, it's not for me. It's just for members of his department, not for the whole school anyway. <laughs> and what are you doing here? Uh, I uh, I came to check up on you mm -hmm. and to make sure everything is fine. Oh, my day has been absolutely amazing. It's been going on well. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so have you caught my friend, your husband? Uh, not yet. Not yet. We haven't really spoken today. Oh, why not? You should. Yeah. But the news of his successful conviction of the district crime law is on air. Mm -hmm. And people have been sending congratulatory messages, you know. Okay. You should call him to check on him. Especially from the congratulations from the women folk. You have to make sure they're not alluring. <laughs> Say, listen to me, you are a very beautiful woman. And your husband, very handsome man. You must learn how to mark your territory to avoid inversion, you know. Sir, tell me. I never crossed your mind all these years. You never thought about looking for me. Hmm? <coughs> um, of, of course I, I, I thought about it. I mean, you crossed my mind a couple of times. I mean, to think that I haven't seen you in a while and uh, of course I thought about you. I thought about you too. I missed you. After all, you never forget your first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, you used to be my first. But that's right. Um, so, uh, let's toast to first love, like you said. First love. Yeah. <laughs> and the best love. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, sorry. I have to take this call. Take your time. Sorry. Hey, honey. Hi. Hi, sugar. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Honey, they loved everything. Like the luncheon was amazing. From the buffet to the appetizer and the main dish, everybody was just talking about it. Oh, babe, I'm excited. I'm glad to hear it went well. I knew you could do it. <laughs> and guess what, honey? They promised to give me more catering jobs at the art gallery. Oh, that's, that's good, babe. Your, your food is amazing. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, honey. And I cannot wait to tell you everything in details. Babe, I can't wait to hear it. But it has to be when I get back home, okay? I have to go now. All right, I love you. Sorry about that. No, oh, it's fine. I guess it's your wife checking on you. Oh yes, my wife called me. Uh, so, where were we? I guess I was about telling you that you were my best. <laughs> mm. Was I? You've always been. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's right. Mm. <laughs> mm. Ah. So, um, what is it? Oh, nothing. We're done talking. Oh, no, you're not done talking. Okay. <sighs> you know, you maybe someone out there is trying to distract him a lot of people want to associate with success but you are his wife so you should spend more time with him on the phone call him again call him he's your husband <laughs> I'll just call him later. Yes, later. He he might just be busy. Okay. Yes. That's so um, <laughs> I was actually going to. Uh, let me get you something oh. since we're here already. Uh, uh, no, let me just see you up, okay? Oh. I'm in a hurry. Okay. Uh, my friend's wife off. That bastard! After everything I did for him. I clothed him, I sheltered him, I feed him, I also gave him my daughter for a wife. And now he wants to embarrass me? Dad, please, it has not been proven that he cheats on me or he cheated on me. These things are just mere imaginations born out of Basil's insinuation. So you are waiting for him to cheat before you can react on it? Basil would not have made such insinuation if he had no proof. He's the one that saw the skeletal possibility of your husband cheating before he came to tell us. Okay, so I should leave my marriage. I should divorce him. Is that it? You will do no such thing. You want the dailies and social media to carry the news and ruin my political ambition. Dad, what has your political ambition got to do with me filing for a divorce based on infidelity? It has got a lot to do with it. It means that I cannot care for my home. It means I did not train my child well. Because he can grant an interview that can exonerate him. It means I am not capable to handle common conflict. It means... Oh, Dad, please. Please, please, please. Let me handle my marriage the way I should. What is this? It means, it means, it means... Please, I'm tired.
Could this be Dilema? The devil cannot use my daughter against me. Never. So then I have to go. Uh, I enjoyed my time with you. So take care, yeah? See you some other time. <laughs> I've learned. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hey. Hey, stop. I'm married. I told you. We can do whatever we want, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Okay, oh. wait, wait. Mm -hmm. mm. Come in. Oh. You were insatiable last night. What? I guess you want more, right? Hmm? Leave me alone! What's wrong with you? Listen, I have to go home. Now! Why? Come on. Just stay in bed and rest. Hmm? Vin, nothing happened between us. This never happened. Oh, come on. I will be so glad to refresh your memory. Stop it! This was a mistake. I have to go. Listen, I have to go to my wife. And you should go to your husband, now! Look, Avila, we're no longer in school. We are two consenting adults. <laughs> Nobody has to know about us. What? Us? There is no us! Never! You know, you're sounding way different than you sounded last night. So romantic and loving. You're mad. Listen, I'm going back to my wife. You should go back to your husband. Leave me alone. This never happened. And you're just coming back home to see your wife. Avalon, what responsible man does that? Lois, I don't understand what you're talking about. You don't understand what I'm talking about? Really? 
Avalon, I hope that reunion of yours wasn't an avenue for you to go see other women. Who's been talking to you? Are you accusing me of something? My love, I'm sorry. I really am. It's just that you not coming back home, I was paranoid. Please, I'm sorry, I'm not accusing you of anything. No responsible man goes out and sleeps out. I'm sorry. It's okay. Sorry. All right, let me go make something for you to eat. under the section 408 of the Nigerian Criminal Code. Okay, thank you. Basil, what the hell is wrong with you? It's been two weeks. The documents are not ready. There's no need for second locution around here. Just tell me when the documents will be ready. Listen to me. There's no need for circumlocution around here, okay? Okay, come on. Come on, bro. You shouldn't be hard on me like that, okay? I need some rest. Oh, is it because you won the biggest case of your career two weeks ago? Let me breathe, okay? Basil, putting Mark Smith away was just the first step. And I'm very excited about it. And if you must know, justice never sleeps. Alright? So get your ass up and do your job! Well, it's all good. I'm doing it, okay? I'm on it. <laughs> oh, my legal luminary and my legal advisor on political matters. You're welcome, sir. I've not come to see my son-in-law. I have come to see Barrister Avalon Wokeby. The ace prosecutor of crime and the carrier of good justice. I'm very humbled, sir. Well, how about being the district attorney when I become the representative of our zone at the lower chamber of the legislature, where at this federation? I'll, I'll be very delighted, sir. Good. We'll be having lunch with the governor today, or maybe a drink at the golf club. Um. Anything you say, sir. Very well then. See you later. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. This is your father in law. Very pompous man. He has pride. Every day I'll be greeting him. We'll be acting as if he's not seeing me, as if I'm invisible. Hey, hey, hey. Mr. Edwards is a good man. So watch your mouth. I gave him an offer, and I'm sure he will take it. We'll be having drink with His Excellency this evening. We can actually buy him over from there. One step at a time, Honorable Sir. I can always count on you because, just like your mother, you are a schemer. Daddy, stop it. We have the key. <laughs> you want to drive? Yeah, help okay. Me.
Hey, what is it? What's the problem? Nothing. Come on, man. Don't give me that crap, okay? I can see it. I mean, the look on your face shows there's something wrong, so spill it out. What is it? Do you remember the night I attended my college reunion? Mm, of course I do. I remember I told you not to go because your ex would be there. Yeah. A lot happened that night. So I, I had so much to drink and to cut a long story short, I found myself in Vicentia's hotel room. I don't know how I got there. How do you mean you don't know how you got there? How? Basil, it was a... It was... It was a blurry night. I can't remember a single thing. Damn. You should have told me. Wait a minute. Uh, does Lois know you slept with the censure? Come on, Basil. You don't expect me to break her heart with such episode? I beg of you, okay? Do everything humanly possible to make sure Emelda doesn't know what happened. Of course I can't do that. She's going to kill me. Somebody know. As for Vicentia, this is what we're going to do. You are going to state the rules to her. Whatsoever happens at the reunion, gets buried at the reunion period. I wasn't expecting you home this early. What happened? 
So, Mr. Mokadi closed from work early today because he needed to spend time with his family. Mm -hmm. You have a problem with that? I uh, know. I don't. Right. I'm actually happy. But baby, I thought you had um, a meeting with my father and the governor. I called to cancel because my family is more important. Excuse me? You called to cancel the appointment? Yes. Because my family is more important. Do you have a problem with that? No, sir. Good girl. I'll just get my back on the car. Okay. Do you want to come? No, I'll wait for you here. Timing my return. Timing your return? Yeah. I mean, what are we celebrating? This is a special meal for the best husband in the world. Aww. Hmm. Thank you, my darling. I love you. I love you more. Okay, so how about we skip the meal and go straight to dessert? <laughs> Baby, hold on. What? Please. Why don't I give you the news flash? And what's the news flash? Hmm. <laughs> You see your beautiful wife? Yeah. Your queen? Mm-hmm. I know. This queen? Of course I know you're a queen. She just got hired to cater for an event this weekend. Really? Oh, yes! Wow! Baby, are you serious? I'm very serious! <gasps> Congratulations, my queen. Thank you, honey. Mm. Mm. I love you so much. I love you more. And I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You know, all thanks to you, because if I hadn't missed that reunion, right. I wouldn't have gotten this job. You know, the job I did while you were away mm -hmm. gave birth to this one. Uh, listen, mm, I'm proud of you. I'm always proud of you. Thank you. I'll do anything for you. Why are you being all emotional? I'm just excited. I mean... All of your hard work is paying off. Yeah. Would you do anything for me? Of course. All right, follow me. Get up. <laughs> Just follow me. Just follow me. Okay. Let's go to the bedroom. <laughs> I have something to tell you. When I went for the university reunion party, I... Babe. Hey, hey, hey! Oh! I see my friend is stepping out without informing me. Huh? My guy! 
I should have known. Oh, my guy is into courtship to another woman. I see. No wonder. No wonder you don't want to carry me along. Huh? Basil, you have the wrong information. I'm actually going to pay my wife a surprise visit. She's catering at uh, a company in town. I don't believe you. <laughs> no, I don't. You're skipping lunch with me, yet you have a bunch of flour in your hand. Anyways, say me hi to Lois. Really? Mm. Alright, how about you do that yourself, face to face? You really want me to come? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Hey, let me tell you. So I'm going there. You know you like hookups. You would find pretty girls there. Yeah, food and drinks. Mm. And guess what? You know you don't like to buy drinks. You're waiting for me to buy for you. Trust me. Free drinks, free food, free women. You like to complain about the economic situation of the country. You'll find some there if you come with me. I don't want to find some. I want to find many. Let's go. <laughs> concept. A wonderful way to attract the eyes to a welcome. This picture is hot. Damn. I wonder who could be the model in the picture. It's lucky to have enjoyed this beautiful feminine skin all alone. No, 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 no. This is actually a puzzle I need to unscramble. This is photography. A branch of graphic design. I see. This is amazing. And this is a more distinct computerized kind of art. Photoshop. Interesting. Mm. Now, this is a rose. Huh? That is amazing. Beautiful. Right? I love this. <laughs> How? Oh, Miss Aisha, you're such an amazing artist. Thank you. Oh, hi, honey. Hey, you didn't babe. tell me you were coming. Oh, mm. surprise to see you. I wanted to surprise you, my love. Mm. Mm. There you go. Flowers. This is sweet. Yeah. You Thank like you. It? Of course I do. All right. You okay? <clears throat> oh, yes. Baby. Yeah. This is Vicentia. She's the artist, come photographer of all the amazing artwork. And also the owner of V Magazines. Yes. Oh, great. Nice to meet you. Um, Vicentia, this is my husband, Avalon Wokedi. Right. And that's his friend also and brother, Basio. <laughs> Hi. Hi. This is a great piece of work you got here. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll feed my eyes. Oh, sure. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Avalon. Oh, yeah. 
Nice to meet you. Have I seen you anywhere? Um, I don't think so. Are you sure we've not met before? I can't recall. Ah, my husband's face is just all over the place ever since he won the Max Smith Otumba's trial. Absolutely. Yes, a few weeks ago. Oh, maybe. Uh, probably someone must have emasculated himself to be who he truly is not. Mm. By that, making himself look like you, so I mistook him for you. That happens always, like every time. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your wife is an amazing chef. Please. Everyone was raving about her food. Uh, yeah, uh, right, right. That's why I'm very proud of her. You see, the wife I married is good at everything she does. <laughs> You're a very lucky man. I know. Baby? Yeah. Why don't you go lower basin? Yeah, right? I'll just, right? uh, all right, take care. I love my husband. I know. I, I can see that. Yes. So, uh, yes. Back to the rose. Yes, back to the rose. <laughs> so, um, you know, when. Honey? Yeah? Did you see Vicentia's photos? Yes, I did. You know, she calls those photos her most personal works. And those photos, they speak volume. Really? Oh, yes. You know, I've been trying to get her to tell me. Who the man in the picture is? Uh, Did she? No, she didn't. She says it's her little secret of discretion. What do you have to say about that? Babe, aren't you ready to go home? No. Let's stay a little bit longer. Please. I can see you both are getting along. Oh, yes. We are. She has got an amazing personality. I love her vibe. Superb. You know, honey, it's so much fun to feel a little outdoor simulation embellished with artistry. Tell me, what do you have to say about her gallery? Her gallery is top notch. Vicentia owned this place? Oh yes, she owns everywhere. She renovated the Louvre. Guess what, honey? She loves my cooking and she has given me another contract, making it the third time. <laughs> third time? Oh, yes. I thought it was the first. No, my first, no. Honey, she was the one who contacted me via social media to prepare, you know, the luncheon during your school reunion. She was the one who gave me that contract. It's not a coincidence after all. What's not a coincidence? Honey? Hmm? You just said that's not a coincidence after oh, all. Oh, I said let's go home. Oh, you really want us to go home?
No matter what happens, this nonsense ends tonight.
Bisecha! Bisecha! What the hell are you doing with my wife? You are so photogenic, Avlon. What in God's name are you doing with my wife? She's a talented caterer. And I needed her for the shows. Plus, she's good for the job. <laughs> You need to stop. Right now! I've been trying to reach you so that we can talk. Did you get my messages? Vicentia, you need to stop all of that. Stay the hell away from my wife. You need to stop right now stop the text messages stop the calls stop the voice notes what about us what what about everything we shared even before your wife what about us avalon hmm Finn. You're totally out of your mind. You're totally out of control. There was no us. There is no us. There will never be us. That is where you got it wrong. That is certainly where you got it wrong. I'm pregnant with our baby. <laughs> So you see, we are going to be a family. Baby. Daddy. Essential. You can't be pregnant. I saw the used condoms. Oh yes. The first time. As for the second time, I think we both were a little too cut up. And what makes you think the child is mine? Avalon, 
You are the only man I have been with. What stupid games are you trying to play? You're trying to ruin my life, aren't you? No. How can I ruin your life, sweetheart? I am trying to plan for a very beautiful future for us, honey. What about your husband? That one. He cheated on me. And he left me. And now, you have cheated on your wife. And you are going to leave her and come to me. That makes us equal, right? <laughs> Vin. I am legally married and I love my wife with all my heart, all my existence. That totally means there's no future for us. Please. I understand You're trying to destroy my family. But I'm sorry, that's not going to work. No. Oh, come on, sweetheart. We are happy family now. Daddy, he did not tell me that he was going anywhere. I have. I tried reaching him, but his phone is here. His phone is in the house. <laughs> I, I can't tell anything about his whereabouts. I, I cannot. <laughs> okay. Um, should I call the police? Do I call them? I don't, I, I don't know what else to do. I don't. No, no, no. Just hold your peace. Hold your peace. If he does not return, then I'll take it up from there. Yes. Just go to your room. Hold your peace. Calm down. Okay? Please. That's my daughter. Let it not be that someone else has outsmarted me to lay hold on him. I must do something. Hello? Yeah, I could be you. Yes, I have to make this call to you. Hold on, please. Okay, maybe here. 
Take drink water oh. so you calm down. Oh. What happened? Abe, I love you so much. I love you more. I have something to tell you. <laughs> Baby, please, whatever it is can wait. We'll talk about it while in bed, okay? I'll run the water for you so you take your bath. Alright? Follow me, please. What happened to you? Baby, please come. Babe, are you not done? You okay? Yes, I'm fine. You know, I woke up to make love to my husband, only to realize that he's nowhere to be found. A whole lot of things went through my mind, but seeing you walking through that door, I realized that you're stressed and you need rest. Oh, babe, I'm just... Shh. Babe, make love to me. What? Yes. You know, we can... Is each other's stress? Please. Baby. Hey, um. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Your heartbeat is not stable. Let me make it stable for you. Hey, don't, don't worry, <sighs> I'll do it. I don't need you going up. Just stay here. First, I put you in my plans. And afterwards, your life will be overturned. Whatever Vincentia wants, she gets. And if she cannot get, she destroys. I am a winner. I never lose. Instead, I lose everybody loses. And to my rivals. Losing is just a double loss. For me, I am glad nobody won. What a reward. A pleasurable one at that. Watching people go through the pains of losing. Babe, we need to talk. My hero, we can always talk about anything tomorrow. Right now, I want to sleep. And I want to enjoy the satisfaction that you just gave me. Please. Babe, it's important. Baby, what's more important now is for you to cuddle me. And we sleep.
I'm asking you, boy, what responsible man will leave his family in such unholy hour of the night? So I'm very sorry about that. I had an emergency. I had to attend to it. Attend to personal situations, you say? Without ensuring the safety of your family first? What responsible man does that? My apologies, sir. It won't happen again. Well, I believe you are dating another woman. Or you have joined my political rivals, and you are now having meetings, night meetings with them. That explains it. Uh, no. Sir, I, I haven't done anything wrong. Now, let me remind you. I clothed you in your school days. I made your miserable life meaningful. To pay me back for my magnanimity, you deceived my daughter and seduced her into getting pregnant for you. In a bid not to ruin the reputation I built over the years, I allowed you to marry her and gave you shelter. Avalon, everything you have, I gave you. Dad. Is that why you are here? Oh, shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. Now listen, this house is mine and I'm giving a standing order. Immediately it is 8 p.m. Nobody comes in or goes out of this house. And Avalon, if you dare disobey this order, not only will I throw you out of this house, but I will ensure that your license for legal practice is seized. Did I make myself clear? Do not say I didn't warn you. You better join my party. Isn't it obvious your father came all the way to rub my woes out my face? I, I am sorry, honey. I didn't know it would get to this. I only called my father because I was worried about you. I was scared that something must have, must have happened to you. And I'm sorry. I didn't know he was going to come here and, and try to make you feel less. Please, please forgive me. My mistake is just loving you so much. Are we tackling this time? This conversation is strictly confidential. It is very private. It is not tied to any case. It must be kept between us. Understood? Interesting. I pledge to discreet approach. I'm listening. Take a look at that. Vincentia Kuzua. Right. Few details about her in my possession. I 
want you to run a check on her and tell me what you can find. Like I said, this should be between us. I heard you the first time. Good. Do you know if she's dangerous? Honestly, I, I have no idea. I don't know. The reason I want you to run a check on her and tell me what you can find, but you have to be very discreet about it. Careful and stay safe. Okay. Did you sleep with her? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I, I already know. Sorry. Listen, just do what you have to do. Figure out what she's planning and let me know. So, two words of advice for you. Learn how to stay faithful in your marriage. And secondly, I think you should tell your wife about everything. think to come to climb here you must join the clique of men that controls power um, I guess my coming was timely sir sit down let's get straight to the point thank you sir I'm going to fix another appointment with the governor and you must ensure that we get the governor's endorsement and that of the party chairman. Thank you, sir. I can't wait to beat the loser at the polls, sir. We are not beating anybody. We are going to win on a landslide victory and the person we are going to use to achieve that is you. That's fine, sir. But I hate to lose. The governor will proceed to the House of Senate and I, the House of Reps. When we get there, we right all wrongs. Grant Max Mito Tumba amnesty and that's it. <clears throat> that's fine, sir. I understand the puzzles of the game. Quite interesting. You have made so much impact in the legal field over the years. You have won the toughest cases. On which hand you have mastered the politics of the state. So you see, you need to make a logical choice in your career. To step up, make all the money you want and have the government protect you. Thank you very much, sir. And um, I must appreciate you and thank you immensely for having faith in me. I promise not to fail you. Let me remind you, when you climb the top spot, you have the bull's eyes painted on your back. In the game of politics, sometimes it is tough to know the good guy from the bad guy. So you need to be careful. I'll do my best, sir. Now listen and listen good. You must not have any skeleton in your closet. Because when we bring you to the fold, if we find out that your slate is not clean, you are as good as dead. And I don't want to begin to regret being instrumental to making my dear daughter, Lois, widowed by your own mistakes. Uh, 
Um, quite understood, sir. Um, this is my cue to leave. I have to attend to other things at the office. Okay. Thank you for your time, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You're on my way. I need to get into my car. My name is Mirabel. And you are? Um. Oh, my name is Avalon. Nice to meet you. I need to get into my car. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need to get in my car. It's okay. Hey, get out! You're on my way. Move away. I pulled a copy of Essentials Hotel Receipts from the reunion and when I ran a check on it, it turned out to be fake. No such address exists. So why didn't the, the hotel flag a fake address when they ran the credit card during the time of payment? Another interesting question to ask. Harun was prepared with a credit card from DCC Enterprises. Very interesting. Why would a third party pay her bills at the reunion party? You tell me. You went to the same school with her. Apparently, it was my first time of seeing her after graduation. Hmm. She's definitely hiding something. Which is? I'll keep digging. You know you were right. I should tell my wife everything. Good luck with that, Mr. Avalon and Kate. I'll be in my office. So happy for you. Please tell me when did you find out? Say two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my husband is back. Hey, baby. <laughs> I am going to tell my husband. Sure. <laughs> baby, how are you? How was your day? Mama, was it okay? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm, I missed you, Vicentia. I'm so. Baby, sit down. Let me tell you something. Vicentia here told me that she's pregnant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pregnant for who? 
Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Avalon. <laughs> I am so blessed. <laughs> I mean, a baby on the way, a new arts gallery, an awesome business partner. <laughs> Coming back to this country is the best thing I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you see, this calls for celebration, right? I am going to get champagne for the newest mama in town. Honey, <laughs> <laughs> one minute. Oh my god, I see you. Oh my god. Okay, this is it. <clears throat> for you. Just for you. Life's dead. Don't worry. I just realized I have another appointment in town. Oh. And I need to leave now. Okay. Because of the traffic, you know. And my car is at a mechanic. But right here. Oh, yes. Yes, yes that's true. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Here. Go on. Check. Thank you so much, Miss Angela. Oh, you know, I'm really excited about the new event we're going to be having soon. <laughs> and I cannot wait. Miss Angela, I've been writing down amazing menu suggestions. You can't believe it. So that will be wonderful. <laughs> um, I hope you don't mind. My husband can drop you no, off. No, I, I can't do that. Oh, that would be nice. I would appreciate. <laughs> no, no, my car refused to start earlier. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I can't. Baby, sure. please, um, you know, he's going to do it. Thank you. All right, baby. Bye. Congratulations once again. Thank I really you. Do. Thank you oh so much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Mr. Avlin, for accepting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, no drink. Okay. Thank you so much. See and you. when you're back, we'll see you. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait, what the hell were you doing in my house? What? I needed to give Lois a check. And you know, for, for us to plan ahead for the next catering event. And to also see my man. Vicentia. Hmm? Whatever happened between us was a mistake. Do you understand? Stay the hell away from my family. I'm not playing games with you. Come on, baby. Stop acting like you do not have feelings for me anymore. Because hmm? you know that lies cannot come between us. And I know you still want me. Just the way my honeypot craves for your stickle spoon. Listen. You can even have me in your car, if you don't mind. You have gone stark raving mad. Oh yes. Yes I have. Anything to get you back to me. Anything. Anything, Shiko. Get down. Come on. Get off my car! I know you want to. Have me in your car. Let's try it. I mean, yes, quiet. Get out.
thinking of suicide. Depends on what you mean. Vincentia never graduated from the university. Yeah, I mean... I think she didn't graduate because her father was sick. It was an emergency, so she left school to attend to her sick dad. Maybe that's what she told you. But according to her transcript, she never graduated. In fact, the school asked her to leave. Are you kidding me? Your girl was busy writing bad checks to the school and all her sworn affidavits were lies. When the school found out, they dismissed her. They asked her to leave and promised not to press charges. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. After her university scam, she pretty much fell off the radar and she was out of this planet. Yeah, I remember she said she traveled abroad to focus on her photography and I guess that's why you didn't find anything about her. I don't care. I don't care what she told you, Mr. Avalon. Listen, she's still a citizen of this country and should have bank records, address, and national identification number. Of course. You're right. Check this out. What is this? What? Vicentia has been to jail? Your ex-girlfriend was caught up in a scam in Abuja. And just about when the judges wanted to press charges, a call was made through and um, the charges were reduced. Vicentia's charges were reduced? By reduced, I mean dropped. Wait. Who the hell made the call? Exactly my point. I'm still trying to figure it out. Why do I feel there's more bad news? Another thing I found out. Her name is currently listed as one of the owners of DCC Enterprises. An art gallery space she inherited three months ago. But this woman does not have any bank record. No, um, no tax records, nothing. The question is how was she able to rent an art gallery without any financial record? Vincentia is a crafty woman and she knows her ways around her clothes. I ran a check and I found out that she took over the gallery space and she's running it in the name of DCC Enterprises. Did you say DCC Enterprises? Wait. The same company that paid her hotel bills during our reunion. The same company name on the check Vicentia gave my wife. Who the hell is DCC Enterprises? I'm still trying to figure it out. But whoever it is, they're trying to hide themselves. But not to worry. There must be a way out. Tasha, you're doing a great job, but you have to keep digging. Alright? Because I'm not about to let this devil 
ruined my family and everything I have worked for. Do you understand? Yes, boss, I do. Good. that question does not matter that young man in there is my brother-in-law stay away from him if you try to destroy his home you will have me to contend with idiot I know what I saw. I even had to accost the lady myself. Imelda, what did my husband and I ever do to you and daddy? Avalon did everything. Can't you see it? Your husband is a womanizer. He's a cheat. He is everything bad. Get that. And I know that is why he got you through his selfish century drama and you followed him. Can't you see it? If you're not careful, he is going to bring another woman to your home. Imelda, I trust my husband. He will do no such thing. Oh, you trust your husband? Wait, let me shock you. Is this not your husband? Mm-hmm. Is this not your husband hugging a woman in front of a hotel? Is this? Oh. <laughs> Maybe this is now his office, his new office. Imelda, what were you doing in a hotel yourself? Is that your office? Um, well, I, I actually went there to see a friend. I went to negotiate business with my friend. Yes? Same thing my husband went to do. To see a client. To talk about his business. That's it. Imelda, please, I beg you. You are my sister. Do not try. Please don't try to cross the lane to a being a marriage counselor. Are you okay? You were in a hotel. You met him in a hotel. He was in a hotel too. What were you doing? Is that your office? No, that's not his office. You both went to. See we are talking about your. Hey, babe. Hi. You okay? I, yeah, I'm fine. You see? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You know, I was on my way to go pick up. Really? Mm -hmm. All right. Hi. Um, Avalon, <laughs> where else did you go to today? Aside your office. Oh, really? I know that look. <laughs> That's the look you get when a cheat is on a hot seat. Imelda, my husband is not on a hot seat. He's not. Babe, it's okay. Um, can I get some water to drink? Of course. All right. I'll be right back. Right, okay. Listen, you know what your problem is? Do you know why you're not yet married? I mean, doesn't it bother you? I'll tell you why. Because you don't mind your business. You have no respect for people's privacy. You talk too much. You're very flippant. Men don't like women who talk too much. And I can sense that you don't know how to treat a man. Which explains why your sister, your younger sister got married before you. I'll tell you what to do. You need to change. You need to rebrand your character. You need to work on yourself. Because you're getting old. You're not getting any younger. Doesn't that bother you that as pretty as you are, men don't say hello to you? 
I'm very, very worried for you. Listen to me. Like I said, you need to work on yourself. You need to change. You need to switch. You need to think about having kids because your biological clock is ticking. I'm sure you don't want to hit menopause. Think about it. Cheat? No, you're talking to me. You're talking to me. Cheat! You're talking to me! <laughs> I'll so deal with you, don't worry. Car, but don't go close to it. Don't go close to it. Follow the car, but don't drive too close to it. Don't lose it. Okay, okay, hold on. Slow down, slow down, slow down a bit. the car but don't go close to it behind the car but don't lose it now you have lost it I'm sorry, I'm sorry. you're sorry what do you mean you're sorry i told you drive behind the car but don't lose it what do you want me to do now Vicentia, what the hell are you up to? Mind your business. Mind my business? 
Vicentia, my business is stay the hell away from my life and that of my family. I want a pound of flesh. And a pound of flesh I shall get. Think that. Bro, check this out. Basil, I'm not ready to see any social media updates right now. Hey, come on, trust me. You need to see this. What okay? is it? Your girlfriend. She's pregnant. She announced it on social media. Oh, really? Yeah. I know. No? Come on, what's going on? I thought you said she's married. How come our status is showing complicated? Basil, I'm not ready to have this conversation. Besides, I'm busy. <sighs> is there something you're not telling me? First, you met your ex who's supposed to be married. And secondly, she started sex chatting you, sending you nude videos. Thirdly, all of a sudden she's no longer married and now she's expecting a baby. What's going on? Nothing is going on. Nothing is going on. Bro, you're my best friend, okay? I know when something is happening, when something is going on. But if you decide to keep it to yourself, no problem, okay? I'm good. So tell me. How long have you been a photographer? Mm -hmm. I started shooting in college. My boyfriend was my first subject. Your boyfriend? That sounds scintillating. Do you guys still keep in touch? Uh, we haven't seen in years. But recently we reconnected on social media. You are so lucky to have such a wonderful husband. <laughs> Thank you. Avalon is my soulmate. He's an amazing husband. He is so supportive and successful at the same time. Thank you. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what's your boyfriend saying about your pregnancy? Oh, Vicentia, please. I am, I am sorry. I am sorry. I didn't mean to pry. Trust me. Please. I didn't mean that. It's not that actually. What is it then? In addition to eating everything in sight these days, I have been miserably emotional these days. Vicentia, I understand. Hormones can be all over the place, especially during your first trimester. It's not that actually. Then what is it, my friend? Please tell me. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Oh, God. It's okay, I'm listening. Just go ahead. I am so ashamed of myself. I don't want you to hate me. Hate you? How can I hate you? Why, why should I hate you? You have been a good friend. You are a sweetheart. And please allow me to help you. Tell me, what is it? Please don't judge me. The father of my baby is married. Okay. okay. Married. What's he saying about the baby and... What about his wife? Oh, that. He said he loves me. And he wants to leave his wife to be with me. They haven't been happy in years. He said the passion died. But 
he's just been sticking around her to buy time. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I see. <laughs> you know, everything will work out accordingly in the end. Okay? What's, um, all you need to do now, Vicentia, is to take care of yourself and your child. That's paramount. All right? You're such a good friend. Since I got back to this country, I haven't been really lucky to meet lots of people. But I am happy to have you. Thank you. Um, so tell me, what, what are you going to do about the pregnancy? What's, what's he saying? He's leaving me with no choice. I'm going to tell him to choose between she or I. Hi, any findings for me? Yes, check this out. What's the update? I stopped by the leasing company that Vicentia rented the gallery art space from. Mm -hmm. I found out that she has paid for a full year upfront, but this time with the cashier check from the DCC Enterprise, drawn from the big wig bank of industries accounts. Good job. Can we get access to bank details, bank accounts and stuff like that? Yes, of course. All that right. will be my next stop tomorrow. We have to. There's a, there, should, there should be a name somewhere on the list. We have to find who has been making all these payments. All right, this is quite impressive. Keep me updated. Don't take your foot off the gas, all right? I will, boss. Okay. Um, boss, have you told your wife about it? I'll see you tomorrow. Um, Mr. Avalon. Yeah? Forgiveness is always a dependent in your confession. Baby, is everything okay? Avalon, we need to talk. Babe, I can explain. I... See, Avalon, I am really, really grateful to God that I have you. I am. You are? Yes. I mean, I mean, I'm grateful to God that I have you too. You see, Vicentia was here and she was telling me the story of uh, the father of her baby being 
an unhappily married stupid man. Um, you mean she told you that? Oh, yes. She told you she's, she's having an affair with a married man? Yes, she did. But she's having an affair with a married man and she's actually waiting for the man to leave the wife. According to her, she said the man said that there is no more passion in his marriage. So he wants to leave the wife and I'm sure that woman doesn't know anything concerning this. Babe? That sounds like a terrible situation. Yes, it is, though. It is. Because... You should see her talk. She's really in love with that man. Babe, um... Don't you think you're getting too involved in this woman's life? I mean... I don't want you getting wrapped up in all of her drama before you relaunch your career, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like... You feel like what? Vicentia has been of a tremendous help to me. In fact, because of her, my social media followers has grown. Even my financial state is, is, is okay now. You, you can testify to that. All of that happened because you are good at what you do. You are an amazing chef. You don't need her. Baby's a little bit too late for that because I already signed a contract with her. Like, she hopes her art gallery becomes successful so she can take care of herself and the baby. You know. Well, you don't know, but I know that she does not have a man like you by her side. You know, a patient, understanding, successful man. So that's it. So did she tell you what she intends to do about her child's father? <clears throat> well, she said she's going to give the man an ultimatum. It's either her and the baby or she's going to go tell the wife of the man. It's really funny because that man is a stupid man. Very, very stupid and silly. Instead of him to look for ways to, you know, make the marriage okay, maybe take his wife out on a vacation, maybe buy her stuff, bring her flowers, or probably sit her down and talk. Maybe they've sat down together and spoken before, but he's supposed to do more. Everything my father is doing is geared towards making you a better person of great influence. Right. Yes. And anything better than money is more money. Right. Yes. So that you can climb higher. I'll, I'll try my, my best to make him happy. But your dad can be difficult sometimes, you know? That's okay. I'll do my best. Okay. You be good. Be a good boy and make sure you guide my territory. <laughs> I'm always a good boy. Listen, I have to run along. Um, the meeting with the governor is a long one, so I'll be back tomorrow. No problem. I'll come around if necessary. That's okay. fine. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. Mm.
You take care. Hey. Okay. I have to go. You'll be good. Hmm? See. Take care of your mom. Alright? Will you? Alright. Yeah. Bye. Alright. Let's go. Come on, babe. Come on. <laughs> I will send you the room number, okay? That's my girl. Mm. Make a kiss. Mm. <laughs> All right. I'll see you there. Bye. Oh man, what's with that look? We are out here to enjoy ourselves, okay? And to take advantage already. So drink up. Basil, um, I apologize for my silence. I'm just, uh, I'm just a bit worried, you know. I've got, I've got so much on my mind, and I'm afraid I. I I don't want my family to tear apart. I understand you, bro. Just calm down, okay? Everything will take shape. Yeah, sooner or later everything will take shape, okay? What do you think, Father? Everybody has a price. But I don't trust him. Brother, you don't like him. Exactly. You don't need to dislike him. He's our tool. A good workman must not quarrel with his tool. But Father, why, why did he come with a company if he really trusts us? That should be the least of your problem. You just use him for politics and that is it. The governor is here. Oh. Let's go meet you. Very stable and one thing. Meet the number one citizen of our DST. His Excellency, Dr. Osinaka Mbadunuji. Your Excellency, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. I've heard so much about you. Please sit down. Thank you, Excellency. You look good and reserved. I hope your charming smiles and comportment will not be a decoy. Um, Your Excellency, I'm just being myself. Good. <laughs> You know, politics is a big business. And the political sphere is entirely a different world altogether. Can you swim the tide? Your Excellency, I think uh, Barrister Mokedu will make a wonderful special assistant to the party and also pass for the secretary to the state government after the elections. That's good. 
I am glad to hear that. But you know, such appointment requires a lot of hard work. It's multiple tasking. And it demands someone with high flexibility. Your Excellency, I think a barrister will is equal to the challenge, considering the antecedent of his uh, achievement. I hope you consider giving him your endorsement. Hmm. Hmm. Keep your nose clean, boy. The job is yours. Your Excellency, you don't necessarily need to bother about his uh, allegiance. He's a very terrible boy. A loyalist, I must say. That's all I want to hear. But you have to play your card well. And if you do, from glory to glory, you will rise to the office of the governor of the state. <laughs> um, thank you very much, Your Excellency. I'll be very delighted to serve the state sometime in the future, Your Excellency. That's good. That's all right. Mr. Edward, Your Excellency, please send him in. Thank you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, sir. Speaking to the next governor of the state. By the grace of God! <laughs> Did you hear him? Yeah! Bro! Don't forget me. Whoa! Damn, bro! Sound like a done deal! Congratulations to the next SSG of the state! <laughs> I must tell you, bro. Mm. It's not done until it's done. This has always been the plan. Eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. Yeah. You're damn right, bro. <laughs> yeah, you see? Perfect life. Perfect wife. You got a ward in your hands, bro. Damn, I envy you. <laughs> Basil. You can be like me. You can have the same thing. Life is what you make of it. Yeah. No. My case is different. I have worked so hard, struggled to get the accolades and congratulations, but to no avail. I mean, people don't even see me the way they see you. You're like a god in human form. Yes, you are. Basil, you're wrong. Listen, maybe you've been playing the game, but not by the rules. Whatever we do in life, we do it to make positive results. You have to keep pushing, bro. Listen, life is not fair. Life is not fair, but you have to keep pushing. You have to be consistent. <laughs> Congratulations. Everything about your success story is happening so fast. But be careful while climbing the ladder because you may miss your steps, fall, and break your bones. I may be working with you for assistance. Just know, I don't like you. Bro? 
she seemed to be the only one immune of your Sussex charm. <laughs> Don't mind Imelda, she's just being a child. Yeah. <sighs> My love. Jesus Christ! How did you get in here? As you know, I have my way around anything. Whatever I want, I know how to get it. What are you doing here, Vicentia? Well, I thought we might just have another fun weekend. Drive me to your hotel. Or are you not happy to see me? <laughs> me happy to see you? God forbid! How the hell did you know I was here? Oh, Lois. She told me you had an appointment with the governor and her father. So I thought to, you know, be the first to congratulate you with a kiss before the press release. And also, this weekend is going to be just perfect for you and I. <laughs> Avalon. Be a gentleman. Listen, I did not tell Lois about us. But hey, hey, listen to me. There is no us. Now you need to leave. Get out. How can you say there is no us? When I am with your baby, Evelyn, we are meant to be together. <laughs> All right. It's time to throw you out. Get off the car! Ah! Get out! Get off my car! Ow! What the hell is wrong with you? Avalon, you made this violent move first. I promise you. You will regret it. Ow! Ow! Ah. This girl is a witch. Jesus. That's good. I saw how you forcefully dragged that lady out of your car. Does it mean you don't know how to treat a woman? Excuse me? Maybe one of your numerous girlfriends came and boom, business gone wrong. And you drove her out of your car. Excuse me? Oh. Behold her, her claws on your skin. Oh. Imelda, I'm not ready for your shenanigans right now. I'm not ready for your troubles. Do you understand? You have enough troubles already.
I need to get all of these things handled once and for all. I need to get my hands on anything to take Vicentia out of my life and that of my family. I would rather act fast to bring her down before she brings me down. So I wrote it all down, it will be clear. If you go through it now, you'll see that I made it easier for you to understand. Mm -hmm. Do you like this? Oh, yes, sure, sure. Okay, I'll write it down. And this, uh, please excuse me, my phone. Hi, babe. You're not home? Hi, honey. Are you home? Yeah, but you should be home. At least to know how my meeting went with the governor. I am so sorry, honey, but... I had this business, emergency business meeting with uh, Vicentia and I needed to attend to it. Vicentia again? But babe, I thought we agreed the business ends immediately. Yes, I know. But I'm sorry. It's just that she has paid me upfront for the business contracts. And I need to deliver, you know, so that I can search for other alternative um, engagements. You know what, babe? Just come back home safe, okay? I'm home. Yeah, I'll just open the door with the spare. It's okay. Thank you. You too. Be good. <sighs> that was my husband. It's fine. Take your time. Okay. All right. I would have to go to the mall down the road. I need to get something. Okay, that's fine then. Nice. I love it. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate <laughs> this. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank See you. you. All right. I'll just round it's up and fine. then leave.
love baby boy. I knew you would call. Endeavor to see me at once. Else, the next collection of pictures will be sent directly to your wife's phone. You know how she would feel when I decide to make the game go dirty. Listen, I call the shots now. So obey the address given to you. You come that I may give you the rudiments on how this is going to work. Vim, what part of stay away from my family? Don't you understand? You don't tell me what to do, all right? In this meeting, I am the host. So let's get down to it. For now. Here is a list of how you're going to be making out time for your wife and your pretty mistress. You see, I am not selfish after all. I am willing to share you with her, at least for now, until when I am ready to have you all to myself. And what makes you think I'm ready to play your little games and your little gimmicks? You want to run your political career on a clean slate. But you see, nobody has a clean slate. The past has its way of playing the French visitor. My husband. <laughs> How did those pictures get into my house? <laughs> Simple. I have the whole world in my palms. Hold on. How the hell did you get the key to my house? <laughs> hmm. This tastes really amazing. Oh God! Thank you! You know, I have plans of mm. opening a beverage industry. Okay. Hmm. And I can tell that for a fact, you will be the best to manage it. You are such an amazing person. You know, ever since you came into my life, you've given me this energy. You've given me this courage to do more, to become better. Thank you, Vicentia. What are friends for? You know, you're more than a friend and a boss. Oh, <laughs> oh please. Come on, get me more of it. In fact, package some. I'd love to put it in my fridge and drink at will. I'm on it. <laughs> Thank I you. I am on it. Just give me a minute, please. <laughs>
So you see, I accept it when you call me a she-devil. Because the devil has a way to always appear even closer and more friendly than a friend. Vin, do you have any idea I can press charges on you? I can sue you for trespass, do you know that? Fine. That's not bad. But I will appear in court to tender exhibit that you slept with me, got me pregnant, and denied the baby and I. Guess what? That will shatter your political dreams. Because your legal practice will come to an end. Your license of practice will be seized due to an exhibition of a questionable character. So see you in court, Mr. Avalon, no kid. Vin, why are you doing this? You cannot have a one night stand with me. And abandon me and the baby. Hell has no fear compared to that of a scorned woman. Have a nice day, Barrister. I wonder why Tasha is delaying on getting me facts and evidences. I need to nail these bastards and roast them in court. Baby, what are you doing? Uh, just trying to burn some documents, old files at the office. I mean, it's taking all the space. Yeah. Some of these particles looks like pictures. Um, yeah, exhibits, picture evidence. They were tendered in court, so I'm just trying to clear, you know, my office, it's taking too much space. Yeah. Okay. Once you're done, you come inside, okay? I want to cuddle with you. Alright. We need strong evidence to nail Vicentia on court. Boss, I am really trying my best. Of course I am. We are on it. Um, have you been able to tell your wife about it? Not yet. What are you waiting for? I don't know. I guess I, I lack the courage to do so. <sighs> it's just crazy. Boss, you need to open up to your wife. You need to tell her you do not want to allow her to find out herself. Because you can't be able to face her rot if she does that. I'll try. Hopefully today. You know, apart from being my boss, you are my friend. And I want to let you know that I will be by your side till we get to the end of all this. Okay? Thank you.
have to end this today. I'll walk in there and tell her everything. I'd rather face the consequences than dance on the edge of a razor blade. Where's my son? Ah, oh, he went on the play leagues. Are you okay? I'm fine. What do you think? You're acting this way. Really? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Just ignore the fact. Alright. Come on. I'm trying to do something crazy. Okay. What are you trying to do? Ow! Babe! <laughs> Sorry. But this is yours if you touch it once. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you soon why I'm like this. Oh, okay, baby. <laughs> Not now. What are you doing, babe? I'm not doing it. 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 I'm not this Who is this? What? Who is this? Who is this? Maybe I can explain. Explain what? Babe, listen, it's not what you think. I it's can... not what I think? Really? No, you're cheating on me! No, I am not cheating on you. I'm trying to explain to you, okay? I can't... What is there to explain? That you're... Okay, now it makes sense. The late night phone calls, the text messages from the office... Babe, can I explain to sure, you? Are you cheating on me with your sadness? No, I am not. I'm trying to explain to you. What is there to explain, Dad? I need to explain. I just told you. I don't want to listen to any explanation. I told you I have a confession to make. So what? You have a confession to make, then what about the messages I'm seeing on your phone? How do you explain that? Give me, give me a chance to explain to you what... <laughs> Babe, so, I need to tell you what happened. Avalon, I cannot believe you can do this to me and our family. This is so sad. This is really, really not it. You know what? You need to leave. Really? You, yes, you need to leave. Babe, this house was built by my father. So Avalon, you need to leave. I literally just told you I have a confession to Avalon, make. Avalon, get out. Get out of this house. Boys, you can't do this to me. You I are just... great. You do this to our family. You do this to me. I have loved you. Is there anything that I have not provided? Is there anything that I'm not doing as a good wife? Boys, I'm not... Avalon, I treated you fine. I just told you I have a... Avalon, please. Babe, I just told you I have a confession to make. Avalon, leave! Already. Is everything all right? I tried to talk to my wife, but she wouldn't listen to me. I I understand. You really need to let her heal, all right? But you took so long to let the cat out of the bag. I was afraid. I was scared. I didn't want her to lose her trust in me. <sighs> now what I feared the most has caught up with me. Can you imagine? She thinks I'm having an affair with you. Wait, this is ridiculous. I mean, how, how, how can she think about that? She wouldn't even let me explain myself. The moment the message popped up, the tiger in her came out. Oh. 
She even asked me to leave her father's house. Boss, it's okay, all right? You need to calm down, okay? Just need to relax yourself at this moment. Soon everything will fall into place. Listen to me. I need Vicentia out of my life. You need to help me. I know. I'm trying my best. I'm doing so. But you need to relax. You're tensed. You're tensed already. And I need to. I need to rest. Daddy. Oh God. Give me a piece. I can't believe that psycho befriended your wife. Why would you even allow that in the first place? She soaked my wife's heart like a dual purpose kerosene. What do I do? I can't lose my family, you know? Uh, of course not. I thought you said Natasha is doing an underground check on Vicentia. What's the outcome? So Vicentia got mixed up in some pill meal fraud. When it was time for her to face some strong legal charges, someone stepped in. Someone stepped in? Yeah. Any idea who that was? No. Natasha is on it. She's very relentless, very resilient to ensure that peace returns to my home. I'll get to the root of this matter. Yeah. Natasha is a strong woman. Yeah, she is. I'll go to her. Yeah. To see if there's any help I can render. Brother. I won't be alive and let that bitch of a lady, Vicentia, destroy my best friend's marriage. It will never happen. Thanks, man. I apologize for not letting you in on this a long time ago. My apologies. It's okay, come on. It's okay. Well, Basil, I need all the help I can get now. Please. Trust me, bro. I will do everything. Everything humanly possible. You're not just my friend. You're like a brother to me, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. So, shall we? A drink up. Hey, one single mistake I made. I, now he's ruining my life. Hey, I, 
One single mistake I made Now it's raining Whoa, whoa, whoa Look who we have here Court Registrar Cum Deputy Mistress of Seduction I beg your pardon Don't beg because you won't have it the last time we saw each other, I told you to stay away from Avalon because he's married to my sister. But what did you do? You refused. Now you have succeeded in breaking her home. And you have me to contend with. Oh, listen, okay? I don't have time for troubles. Go and speak to your brother-in-law. He is the one to mend his broken home and not me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> you... You just walked out on me? Okay. 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 Eat your food, baby. No, I want to meet my daddy. I already told you that daddy, you know, he traveled. I want to meet my daddy. Hey, bro. See your phone. The phone is ringing. It's all right. Where are you? Um, hey boy, daddy had to quickly go get something. Yeah. I, I hope you've been a good boy to mommy. Yes. I love you. I love you too. Listen, daddy will be back soon, okay? Um, be a good boy, alright? Um, kindly give your mother the phone, I'd like to speak to her. Why did you cut the call? Daddy want to speak to you. Why did they cut the call? I did not cut the call. It was the network and I'm going to call your dad back. Lying is a sin. Are you fighting with daddy? Will you eat your food? Eat your food. Open your mouth. Ah? Huh? Good. Eat. Bring your hand and eat. Lying is a sin. Like I don't know. And this is so painful. What? I tried to talk to my wife, but she ended the call. Uh, that's not good now. Uh, anyway, I... I have a suggestion. What's that? Maybe... Maybe you should talk to her family. Get to her through her family. Oh no, I'm sorry. I can't do that. Hey. I can't face her father. Hey, come on, bro. You gotta do what you gotta do. You have to do everything within the bracket to get your family back together again. Come on. Why do you choose to be an ingrate? You had the effrontery to cheat on my daughter. And of all the people in the whole world, you chose your office secretary. What a shame. Sir, I have nothing to do with Tasha. You lie. Emelda confirmed to me that she has seen both of you together on several locations. Do you know that that can tarnish our political image and also cause you to lose your certificate of practice? Do you know that? Sir, I understand you perfectly well, but honestly, I've not seen anyone. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not seeing Tatcha. I'm not. 
You want me to believe it because you said so or because it's true? So it's true, sir. I'm going to personally investigate the truth of the matter. A man that cannot control his randy emotions cannot be seen in the political corridor. Nonsense. Lois, open the door. Lois! What? What is it? Lois, I need to see my son. How could I have known that I've been married to an irresponsible man? Lois, you don't know that. You won't even let me explain. Give me a fair hearing for oh, crying please. out loud. Just shut up. Keep your legal terms to yourself. You see, my son and I, we do not want to have anything to do with you. You're such an ungrateful human. I still love you. Lois, I love you. There's something wrong with you. Leave this place, Avalon. I, I apologize, but I don't want to lose you. What's wrong with you? You've lost me already. You have, can't you see it? Avalon, I said, leave here. I'll go in, and when I come out, you're still here. I'll call the police on you. Lois. Now it's raining my life. I went by the house to see Lois. To see my son. To at least get some clothes to wear. This woman sent me out. She wouldn't listen to me. She asked me to leave. She's still very mad at you. Okay? Just calm down, okay? No, no, but, but, but at least let me see my son. Ah, oh, man. Let me see my son. Let me get something to wear. Okay, you know what's gonna happen. Don't worry. I'll do that for you. Okay? I'll do that for you. I'll go to your house and I'll get those clothes for you. Hmm? Don't worry. She's just angry. By the time your wife comes down, she'll need a husband back in one place. I can't wait, bro. Can't relax, brother. Relax. I got you, bro. I got you. Ah. <sighs> Please, I need you to take care of him. Take good care of him. <clears throat> I beg you. You know, at a trying time like this, I don't want him to get acquainted with my mood. It's just best I stay alone. It's okay, my darling sis. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Okay? If you need anything, just call me. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. But you see that your husband, ex-husband, I am going to deal with him. I will make sure he pays. Don't you worry, okay? My love, I need you to be a good boy. Okay. Don't stress your auntie. Okay. And if she tells you to do anything good, please do it. Okay. Make sure you write your assignments. Okay. Sleep. Okay. Play. Okay. And eat well. Okay. I love you. I love you too. I said I love you. I love you. It's okay. That's enough. <sighs> I'll take care of you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. <sighs> it's okay. All right, come on.
to be <laughs> you shattered my trust how do I do this how do I continue <laughs> we have a beautiful house we have a good home I try my best to make you feel good <sighs> have a this wasn't what you promised I hate to ask you this, but did you know Avalon was having an affair? Uh, uh, no. No, not, not at all. Yeah. You see, he didn't tell me about him having an affair. And um, Avalon can be very secretive, he wouldn't tell. Basil, you know, I thought it's been a happy home. We shared so much. We had fun. It really hurts realizing that everything I shared with my husband was a lie. <sighs> okay, um, please come in. Please. Basil, did Avalon tell you how many of his clothes he needed? Not really. But you can just fool a couple of them. <sighs> you know, Basil, you're lucky you came when you did. Because I wanted to burn all his clothes. Like I want to discard everything that reminds me of him. Hey, come on. Louise. We shouldn't do that. <sighs> Let me tell you something. Please never, never take actions when anger and emotions are high, okay? You might end up destroying a lot of things and you'll regret it. Come on. You're right. And Basil, you are a good friend. Thank you. 
um, I am your friend, sir. Hmm? <laughs> Louis. Yeah. Please. If there's anything you want me to do for you, do not hesitate to let me know, okay? You know I'll always be there for you. Hmm? Hmm? I know. And I appreciate you. Thank you. You're welcome. We need to talk. Avalon, I'm walking. There's nothing to talk about. Listen, you clearly have no idea what's happening. I said I am walking. We can't talk. You have no idea what's going on. I understand you're upset with me, 
You're very angry and I apologize for what I have done or what you think I have done. But please, I need to bring you up to speed. I need to tell you what's really going on. Avalon, I said I am walking. If you really want to speak to me, come by the house tomorrow. Then we'll talk. All right, that's fine. I promise to come by the house tomorrow. But please, I'm sorry, I apologize. Okay? Besides, I promise to fix this. I promise not to give up on our love. I love you. I miss you. Mm. Keep your distance, please. Please, go straight home when you close from work. I want the best crime scene investigation team over here. Take her phone for forensics. I want to know where she has been to. Who she has been talking to. We have to catch that bastard that did this to one of us. I don't want to see anyone until we have suspects. This is an order. Get to work. Yes, boss. What's going on? You haven't heard? Heard about what? Touch her. Touch her is dead. What? Tasha is dead? What happened? How come? I don't know. The office cleaner found her body in the pool of her own blood. And from all indications, she was shot. Tasha was shot and no one heard gunshot sounds and no one heard her scream what the hell are you talking about I thought about that too we have to leave that to the investigative team they will reveal the secret this is sad Sorry for keeping you waiting, dear friend. Yeah. Your check. Last night was a huge success. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for this as well. You're welcome. Mm. <sighs> I've been meaning to ask you. Okay. What's going on between you and the father of your child? I'll be surprised if you do not ask up till now. Well, when someone tells you I do not have any other option, it simply means that whatever decision they take afterwards is emotion driven. 
What are you trying to say? Well, he's having a second thought about leaving her. And I'd have to give him an incentive to leave her. Moreover, he does not love her anymore. An incentive? You really know it's wrong to sleep with a married man, right? Do not pry, my friend. I am sorry. I am so, so sorry. It's just that you're hurting someone you don't even know. She'll get over it. Get over it. I know he wants to be with me. What's really going on? What's really going on? Does, does she even know you? Not yet. And don't you think she'll be devastated to find out that the husband is having an affair? That's not my problem. We're meant to be together. And I'm sure she thought so too. That they were meant to be together. Well. I can't help it if he does not love her anymore. Don't you think it's heartbreaking for a woman to hear that the husband does not love her anymore? Not to talk more of him sleeping with somebody else. He'll be happier with me, especially when the baby comes. Really? Well, I am caught. I am really grateful for everything you've done for me. But I must tell you the truth. Right now, you sound pathetically callous. Please, I need to go. Sorry, please. Lies. Yes? I'd love to give you a little souvenir before you go. One minute. This is absolutely preposterous. I never believed that that boy can be this heartless. Father, I wonder how you got brainwashed in the first place to have trusted him. Can you imagine the magnanimity of such a horrendous crime? The moment he found out that I am aware of his relationship with his secretary, he went ahead and murdered her. What do you expect, Father? It's so glaring that his relationship with her is repugnant to a moral value of a legal advisor and would affect his image as a deputy district attorney. So he chose to take her life, so his evil tracks will be clean. Well, sin begets sin, and the wages of sin is death. I will prepare a litigation of numerous count charges that the only competent measure of fairness is dead. This will take effect immediately, Father. I hope so. What is this? Printed photographs. Part of my collection during our reunion. One that I have never shared with anyone. So why give it to me? Because I think that you may be just the right person for it.
Jesus Christ! What? You don't like it? Do not call the name of your Lord God in vain. No, 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 no. You lying demon! If you weren't pregnant, what I would have done to you, you wouldn't believe it. Triflings, come back. Okay. 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 I might just be one step close to the end bit. <laughs> I really want to find out the truth. What is your involvement in all this? Why did you kill Tasha? Sir, before God and before man, I have nothing to do with this. I didn't kill Tasha. Just like you killed her and concealed it, I can kill you right here and now and frame your death if you don't tell me the truth. But sir, I'm saying the truth. Why would I kill Tasha? I can't do that. Everything you are doing is to make me to trust you so that you will dupe me and get a huge amount of money and elope with her leaving my dear daughter. When you noticed I have found out you connived and killed her, I have evidence against you. Sir, before God and before man, I have nothing to do with this. God in heaven knows I am innocent. What we say in God's name, I am not asking you if you did. What I am simply asking is why you did. I have an evidence against you. Don't take laws into your hands. Allow the government investigate this matter and give you an answer. I would rather have my daughter widowed than have a man like you. Time will heal her faster. That's his head. Oh, that is rather timely. Please, let me have a tete a tete with him. It might interest you to know that I am interested in Tasha's death case. Okay. My prime suspect happens to be your best friend, Avalon. Do you have something to tell me? Sir, you know I am an ostentatious person. I like keeping to myself. And your friend, Avalon? He's a braggart anyway, but he also likes keeping to himself. What is his relationship with Tasha like? Um, it was cordial. Yes. Uh, but until he announced to me that you appointed him your senior special assistant on political matters, then I started noticing something fishy. But unfortunately, I couldn't get hold of anything tangible. Before I heard, Tasha went missing. Then eventually, 
it was announced that she was dead. But do you really think Avalon killed Tasha? Wants to play dead. Daddy, let's bring in scheme number two. What's the meaning of this? That's the, the woman that Avalon has been cheating on me with. Right under my nose. Sure. And she's she's carrying his baby. Oh no. No. You don't deserve this. Oh my god. No, you don't deserve this. I never knew it's this Randy. First he was sleeping with Natasha, and now Vicentia. How could he be such an ingrate? How? I don't get it. How? How did I not know that I was living in the same house with a snake? Oh. 
Damn. We didn't beat the hell out of her before you left her house. That is the problem. You see, that's the problem. I, I, I think that is even why I'm like this. Basili took every fiber in me not to claw her face off. Tell me, how, how am I supposed to beat a pregnant woman? How am I supposed to do that? It's okay. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Mm. No, please, please. Take it easy. Just, just calm down. Okay. It's a male that we're this. That's another issue. I wished Imelda was there with me in her house. Maybe that's part of the problem. I don't even know why I'm feeling like this. If Imelda was there, I knew Imelda would have beaten her half dead. Um, but I'm still so bad. I trust Imelda to have done that. She has to be aware of what's happening. Yes. She really needs to. Oh, Basil. Have I not been nice? I've been living with Avalon for how many years now? I'm a good wife. Of course you are. I try my best <laughs> not to cheat. Well, of course we all can attest to that. I tell him people I meet. I tell him my frustrations. It's okay. It's okay. Calm oh down. God. It's okay. No. It's okay. You just have to relax, okay? Uh, I am here to take care of you now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh God! Avalon Walker, how are you, Mr. Convict? To what do I owe this surprise visit? I'm very sure you know why I'm here, Mr. Smith Otumba. Why not say it yourself? I want to hear those words from your small trifling mouth. Mr. Smith Otumba. What are you doing with Vicentio Okonzoa? When a man is jailed for life, it will be a double jeopardy to convict him again while he's still serving life imprisonment. I love my abode of asylum. I don't need your trial again. Mr. Otumba, you need to stop bullshitting me and tell me what I need to hear. Else, I'll bury you underneath this prison. Now tell me what I need to hear. What are you doing with Vicentia Okunzua? I built this prison as a development gift to the federal government of this country. And you, under the umbrella of the law, drop me in this same prison. Now you want to get to the corridor of power. You took my life, Avalon. Now, how does it feel? When everything you've ever cared for is gone. Now get the hell out of my house.
One single mistake I made I guess you need some of this. More. No, 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 no. Come on, you need it. Let me put some more. Marcel, I don't think this is necessary. I need to. The state you found yourself right now. Drink. Oh, please. This is no longer necessary. I need to play everywhere. My little baby will be coming back home soon. I don't want him to see me like this. I need to freshen up and probably also tell him what has been happening, you know. Hey, come on. Come on, Lois. Mm -hmm. This is not about your baby. Okay. This is about you. Mm -hmm. Like you don't need to get ready before you do anything you mm. feel like doing, okay? You should concentrate on yourself right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, drink up. At a time like this, this is exactly what you need, okay? Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm-hmm. No, um, Basil, I appreciate that you've actually been a good friend. Although, all this is technically your fault. Because you introduced me to that fool I call a husband. Avalon! Oh, yeah. Blame it on me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I accept all the blames. Everything. But you know the good thing about all this? Mm -mm. I am here now. Sitting beside you. Okay. So that means if there is anything you want me to do for you, anything at all, huh? Do not hesitate to let me know, okay? I'll do it. Anything. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Basil, I know that you're a good person. And I appreciate you, okay? Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Come down. I'm here for you, okay? Mm -hmm. Just relax. 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 Relax, okay? Uh, do you mind if I spend the night? You don't need to be alone in times like this. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's yourself. Huh? Huh? Yourself. Yeah. I, I don't I really don't think that's necessary. Oh, I can so? yes, I can take care of my no, baby the no, no. Is no, no, that's you. Okay. Please, please. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't want Let's you to me. Thank you. Me. Basil, what? please, this is not the one I agreed on. You your little friend.
Son of a bitch! Avalon, be here in the morning by 9 a.m. Yes, we are opening an um, investigation into your prosecution of um, Max Smith, Otumba. Due to your relationship with his fiancée, Vincentia Okozua, do not be late. Okay.
ないですよ正直ブランクスターマックス・スミッツ wants details of how you overturn his conviction before he authorized me to wire you the money. Oh my God. How many times are we going to go through this? We've been through this before. Anyway, they have proof both of you are sleeping together. Yes. And by the time the district attorney realizes that uh, Avalon has taken your name off the target list, the conviction will be overturned. You're not stupid after all. Of course you know Dad will be investigated. And they will find out that Avalon was not the one who removed my name. So what next? Uh. You dropped your gun. Drop it now else I'll kill her. No, you're not going to do that. Drop it! No, no, please, please, please. Alright, fine. I'll drop it. But you don't touch my wife. Gently. Yeah. There you go. There you go. I beg you in the name of God, don't hurt my wife. Please, let her go. She has nothing to do with this. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, let me tell you something. You are not in the position to tell me what to do. Okay? Basil, please bro. You're my brother. You're my friend. Don't do this. Let's settle this peacefully, amicably. You don't have to work with Mark Smith or Tumba. I can help you. All right. 
Stop. Don't do this, please. Let's sort this out once and for all. Please. <laughs> ah, Mr. Avalon, you're so funny. Did I hear you call me friend or brother or what? Talk it! I am not your brother, okay? Now you listen to me. You are no longer in the position to tell me what to do, okay? I need to be promoted. Yes, I need it. So I gave Mark Smith Otumba an offer I couldn't refuse. I am tired of playing second fiddle to you. You hear me? Basil. You? I trusted you, bro. How could you? How could you betray me? My friend, my brother, jealous of me? I can't believe this. So this is what this has been about. How long have you been doing this? What did you find out? Our crime scene investigation team is actually depressed. The forensic shows that Apollon murdered Tasha. Yes, even from her court records, he's been the one communicating her over a clandestine investigation of Max Smith Otumba. But we are yet to find out why. So Avalon connived with his girlfriend and they are both secretly investigating an already convicted man? Oh, they want to flop all my attempts to seek amnesty for my friend. Sir, so I think Avalon is caught up also in a case of double alienation of affection, which involves the late Tasha and one Miss Vincentia Okozua, one of Max Smith's ally and girlfriend. And that brought about the breakup between him and his wife, your heartbroken daughter. What do we do now? I've not seen my daughter yet. That bastard is already fleeing. So we'll find him and turn him in. Please do. Daddy. Daddy, take a look at this. Close it. What? When we started building up a case against Mark Smith Otumba, I came across Vistretcher's name on the list of his girlfriends and crew members. She was running those pill operations and got busted. One thing I found out was she was your ex-girlfriend. And at that point, I said to myself, she will be the right person that I can use to set you up. You rip, shit bastard. I've been dining with the devil without a long spoon. I got everything set up with Otumba for a small fee. Get him implicated. I will use him against himself. So people will think he got you jailed in order to distract the feds from his immoral lifestyle. Master plan. Listen, 
Now I want you to involve Cynthia in the plan. She was his ex. She will be of great help. She knows what to do. No problem at all. We'll work hand in hand. Great. As soon as he's convicted, and I am out of here, I'm going to pay you your 10 million naira balance. Okay? Once it's time for the clerical judicial review, you let me know so I can call Justice Adesanya to work on that effect. Okay. <coughs> so, <coughs> whatever I do, I should rope her valor in, right? Great. Deal. As you are standing there, even if I don't kill you, you are going to jail for all the crimes that I've roped you into have committed. Still right there, God, oh, I'm yes. not joking. Like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking about babies, tell me about your unborn child. Allah. You were gullible. I mean, you always have been. I slipped a drug into your drink when you went to answer your wife's call. You blanked out the moment I got you into my hotel room. Oh, oh, sorry. I have to take this call. Take your time. Sorry. There's no baby after all. You're very stupid. You are extremely stupid to think that I will bring myself low to your standard anymore. Cause you no longer my taste. So let's talk about Natasha. Why did you kill her? You've got yourself to blame for that, brother. <laughs> now you stay put. While I free you with small revelations. I never pictured it this way. Stick to the plans. No distractions. No distractions, yes. 
Uh, you monitor Lois while I monitor Avlon. Avlon is the target. Avlon is the target. So what next? It is time you tell me you're pregnant. The result of the one night stand after the reunion is pregnancy. Right. She was at the bank to get documents that she needs to run a check on DCC Enterprises. Eventually, she got the documents. You all know that that is all she needs to trace the origin of the account. If she gets all the information she needs, she can trace me and that of Maxime Totumba, which will not end well. She's got all she needs to talk to the feds. We've got all we need to silence her. Just leave that to me, okay? Remember, the more of what we do, the more of Avalon we rub in. I promise you, this assignment will not go down well without Avalon going down with it. That's a promise. So what do you want me to do? You're welcome. Ah, uh, the other time I promised you birthday gifts, huh? Uh, sorry it's coming late anyway. This is it. Better late than never. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I hope you like it. Yeah, thank you. It's beautiful. You're welcome. When she tied Fesentia and Mark Smith to the same crime, in no time she'll come looking for me. Yes. You know what I'm talking about, you understand? You killed her. Basil, what the hell are you talking about? I took your skin from when I scratched you and placed it underneath her fingernails. The car. Ah! Get out! Get out of my car! Ow! What the hell is wrong with you? Avalon, you made this violent move first. I promise you, you will regret it. It's 
girl is a witch. Jesus. Forensic would dictate you. Vengeance is better saved cold. Your DNA is all over her. Her mother is pinned on you. <laughs> then, our attorney and legal genius will not be convicted for murder. Alright guys, listen, I accept, okay? I accept, I'm the new convict now, okay? But I must tell you the truth, she has nothing to do with it. Let my wife go, please! No, why should I? No, go ahead, tell me, give me one reason. Why should I? You knew her through me, remember? Back in our university days. She couldn't date me because you always outsmarted me. But now, the story is different. You stand there and watch me bang the hell out of her. You watch me. You are under arrest for drug, conspiracy, and abetting of crime. You have the right to remain silent for whatever you say now or do will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney, but if you don't have, the state will provide you with one. Or I move it. Move. I say move. Move! Come on, move! <laughs> oh. Yeah, listen to me, okay? You, you are a legal luminary. Yes, you wouldn't want to soil your hands with blood. You don't have the guts to kill me, do you? Basil, tell me why I should shoot you. <laughs> of course, you'll be jailed for double murder. You lie, Basil. Oh. Hey! Sing you are to the devil. <gasps> For everything. It was all my fault. Please. I shouldn't have. No, 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 no. There's no need to lay blames on anyone, okay? I love you.
I love you too. Where, where is Vicentia? Baby, we need to just pack Hey, up baby, everything. it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Listen, it's okay. You don't have to worry. <laughs> She's not going far. Did you hear that? Uh, yes, I'm in trouble. Baby, I'm what? in trouble. The, no, 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 it's okay, please. baby. Listen, it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Mm. You're safe. You're on safe hands. It's all right. I called them before coming. Yes, I told them. And all the confession, everything said here is live streamed. See, I'm live on Facebook. We have evidence to nail these bastards. Okay. Baby, thank you. Thank you so much. I love you so, so much. I love you more. And I apologize for everything. I'm sorry too. I am sorry. I need no how. Okay. Okay. It's okay, babe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you, baby. I love you too. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. I never knew that you are such a unique person. Kavano, you've not only proven to be a good man, but also a patient man who never reacted to us our wrong assertion of you. My daughter Lois made the right choice choosing you as her husband. And I also made the right choice choosing you as my SSA on political and legal matters. Your triumph today is a new phase in your life. What's a justice of peace? You are taking your ground to testify against Vincentia today, who perpetuated the plot to overturn Max Smith Otumba's conviction, shows how his train of bandits are, and they are not to be allowed to roam the streets. Uh, who would believe that Basile, the gentle Basile? could hurt a fly, let alone kill Tasha. Time to prepare for our political strategy. This is the right time to move. Um, I must thank everyone for your kind words. But I'm no longer interested in politics. Why? Daddy trusts you even more now. You see, when you are faced with the challenges of life, it's only important to realize that family comes first. Family comes first. But politics has been part of your dreams. True. You'd hear from me soon, but for now, my family is more important. My dear daughter Lois, what do you have to say about this? <clears throat> I, am, I am happy that we are all okay. Everything has been sorted. And uh, Vicentia is out of our lives. But she really needs to pay for all the harm she's caused. And um, wherever my husband stands, there I stand. Dad, I have to leave. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah. 
Uh, I'll be missing you. I'll miss you too. Thank you. Sorry. It's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Daddy, let me see them all. Daddy, let me see them all. I was thinking the enemy's fine. Close to me, close to me. Yeah, I was thinking these shadows are coming from far away. Far away, I, but I don't know. It's coming from someone close to me. Close to me. In this life, in this life, trust nobody. Trust nobody. So many enemies in disguise. All they want is to pull you down. Guys, all they want is to pull you down. down. They are friendly enemies. Yeah. Yeah. Careful. Yeah. I was thinking the enemy is far away. Far away. Mm. But I don't know if someone. Close to 